What's up with you? For today's video, we're the full best Generation 9 Pokemon team. There are so many powerful Pokemon that have been released for Generation 9, I don't even know where to start. I'll be picking my six best Pokemon for Generation 9. I will not be including legendaries like Caradon and Maradon and the Treasure Quartet as well. Everything else is good to go and let's get into it. I've got three battles with the best Pokemon team. Drop a like on the video, people, if you enjoy the team teams and you've been having fun with Generation 9 and give me a comment below. What do you think yourself personally is the best Pokemon for Generation 9? And maybe tell me why as well. You can give me more than one. I'd love to hear it. Okay, we got some battles here on the Poker Portal. or say Wycom again. And we got a battle here against Flex. And we got a little Palafin lead here. I'm leading off with Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is such a powerful Pokemon. Incredible speed. Incredible special attack. Nice typing. Nice base pants. And some really nice special moves it can learn as well. Now, in this video, I'll be using actually really difficult, terrible sets on these powerful Pokemon to make it even more of a greater challenge. Uh, you know, if you're new to this channel, that's the sort of thing that I do here. So we got a Choice Band in the Iron Bundle, but more on that set a little bit later. I swapped in my little Palafin as well, so I can get my Hero Form a little bit later on too. I'll explain that set as it goes on. So I'm going to go to Orthorm. You're probably surprised why I put Orthorm on this team. I'm going to show you why throughout this video too. Palafin, I'll explain. Obviously, when it goes into Hero Form, it has incredible offense. It even has a really, really good speed, really great bolt, the amount of moves it learns. It's just an incredible Pokemon. I'd say Palafin is the best Pokemon for Generation 9. That's my honest, true opinion. Anyway, we're going to go to Morsold here. Morsold is a very good Pokemon too. It gets a move that hits 10 times in a row. It gets like beat up. It gets other multi-hitting moves. It's got good speed. It's got good attack. A very, very broken Pokemon. Probably not the best one. I'd say I place it around 5 or 6 uh, on this thing. So we got this entering strategy here. We got this Baton Pass Scream Tail. Now this person had some pretty uh, entering strategies passing stats onto their Pokemon. So they just managed to get that uh, Baton Pass off there against my special Morsault. Only appearing on Pino's channel. This was an Echoed Voice Water Pulse Mud Shot Substitute Set. Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. So now we got the Ndidi coming in. Ndidi is going to be setting up a Reflex. So it's like a, uh, a screening Ndidi. So like I don't know whether this is going to be their last Pokemon. I think they may be passing this to another. So now the Ndidi has gone for a, uh, a light screen and a reflex. So that's pretty interesting. So a fully supporting set. So I see the Screamtail and the Ndidi seem to be only supporting Pokemon. So I'm powering up my Echo Voice here by using it continually. Now the Ndidi is going to go for a Baton Pass. So this is where things actually got quite interesting. So the Baton Pass is going to swap the sub down, out. And the next Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Now this Pokemon has a massive attack stat. So like... This is quite a difficult decision. So I went for the Echo Voice here. It's going to have the Booster Energy. Now, Booster Energy is very, very good on uh, Iron Bundle as well. It just makes it even faster. It's just, it's such a great item. It couples with it perfectly. So I went for the Echo Voice there. The Trick Room is going to run out. I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to go for a sub here. I want to see what sort of moveset this uh, Iron Hands is. Nearly called a Harry Armor. I don't think I'm going to be able to faint it. So I went for the uh, sub there, and they went for the Drain Punch. I'm like, okay, that was good. That would have one-shotted me. You know, the... Uh, uh, the uh, Iron Iron Hands, not Harry Armor, would have got all of his help back. Now, this is interesting. I went for the Echo Voice this time to start up again. If you don't use Echo Voice consecutively, uh, obviously the base power goes back to normal. So going for Echo Voice here again, it does virtually nothing. Uh, the Iron Hands is going to go for a belly drum. Like, oh no. Now, the only good thing about that is it has put on a low amount of health here for my Morsoul to actually take it out. So now they're going to be forced to swap out the Iron Hands. That was a risky play, by the way, and go into the Palafin. And now the Palafin is in hero mode. Now, this is a very, very powerful Pokemon. Extremely difficult, like so broken. I'd say the best set that I've had on uh, my uh, experience with, I had on this one Drain Punch. I felt that worked 
really, really nice. Um, I had uh, Aqua, I nearly said Aqua Jet again. Jet Punch, is, they sound so simple, you know. Those moves work really, really well. So I swapped in my Houndstone here. Houndstone, obviously, on this thing for last resorts. However, I got free sacked by Ice Punch. You wouldn't read about it. So now uh, Houndstone is, well, it's, it's dead and it's frozen and it's letting it go. So uh, there's not a lot I can do here. This is actually a bulky, fluffy set. And this set is actually designed to take a lot of physical attacks. Now, I deliberately gave it no attack evas at all and it actually has zero IVs and attacks. <laughs> it's an, I did it on purpose, right? So we got Last Respects, Shadow Ball, Hyper Beam, and Destiny Bond. I'm going to slide in Orthworm here, and Orthworm is a really, really cool Pokemon because it actually has uh, the ability... Uh, Earth Eater. You know, that's really, really nice. Gives it that uh, immunity to ground. Plus, I've given it Terra Electric, so... Essentially, it has no like weakness there, no super effective weakness when you tear it into an electric type Pokemon, which I think is kind of underrated and very like looked over. Plus, it also is a very bulky Pokemon and it can set up and pass Shed Tail very, very easily. Not the best Pokemon, but like, this is six spot, six spot on my team. I know quite a few Pokemon uh, people will disagree about this Pokemon, but I think it's a very good Pokemon and has an extremely good amount of potential. So this is actually a, 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 cl a classic Pokemon Knight special here. We have got wrap. You got to wrap before you tap. And uh, this set consists of Grip Claw as the item. So Grip Claw is going to be making those uh, trapping moves like wrap. Uh, last seven turns, which is really cool. I've also got Mud Slap, Rest, and Protect. It's a troll set, basically. Max Health and Max Special Defense, Careful Nature. The opponent needs to be very careful versus this. So this uh, Meow Skata was setting up the Home Claws against me. I was actually really getting its health down low of Rap. Rap looks pretty funny. So now they're going to go for a final Night so I, say, I actually was, go was, was going to go for a third Protect, but I thought maybe they'll go for Home Claws, predicting that, and uh, or just try and uh, swap to another Pokemon if it did run out. So that's the end of our Orthwarp. Anyway, he did a pretty good job there uh, softening up that Miascada. We're going to go for the Choice Banner Iron Bundle. That's going to be uh, four times super effective, which is awesome there. Wait, did it use protein? Anyway, it doesn't matter. He was uh, super effective. So I noticed uh, the little uh, Iron Bundle. It actually has quite a decent attack. So no nothing on its special attack, of course, but it's still pretty decent. So I've got Ice Spinner, U-Turn, Flip Turn, and Play Rough Choice Banner as the item. And I've got uh, Adam and Nature and Max Speed. It's so fast. 130 basic speed is incredible for Iron Bundle. Next Pokemon, of course, is Fluttermate. This is a full-on troll set. Obviously, it's terrible. That's the challenge of this video, people. To use these really powerful Pokemon would give them terrible sets. So, Fluttermane has brilliant speed, 135 base speed, 135 base special effect, and 135 base special attack. That's wild. Like, what is going on here? And it's got its ability to uh, when it's got the boost of energy on top of that or, or the sunny day. It, it's, it's broken. Like, it's such a powerful Pokemon, you know? Uh, anyway, I'm going to get uh, Ice Punch by Palafin. It's going to do a Terra Water. This is actually a troll strategy. I know you're surprised. So I've got Thunder Wave. I've got Confused Ray. And I've got Astonish. Very astonishing, right? So you obviously get these things going there and you keep flinching the opponent. Hopefully they'll hit themselves in confusion or just do nothing in general. Uh, this Palafin is no no joke, did they? This team was no joke. It was a, a Terra Water here. So this was hitting very, very hard. Uh, they managed to get a second Ice Punch off here. I just managed to live that, which is really cool, and get another Pain Spit off, which is good. So I figured I couldn't do very much damage with Astonish anyway. So I thought I'd do a couple of Pain Spit and maybe start the Astonish when they got on a little bit of lower health. But unfortunately, that never happened, and I'm going to get wrecked by the Palafin Hero. So I was like, okay. I've got a plan here. I'm going to execute it. So going into the Morsel here, I've thrown out the sub so I can get the dub. And I wanted to see what move they got. I was wondering if they got Jet Punch or not, right? Uh, they're going to get Paralyzed there, which is fine. So now I can actually start going for Echoed Voice again, which is pretty funny. This set is really, really bad, but it's quite fun to use. I quite like Echoed Voice. Pokemon. Now, this is a key moment of the battle. So I went for Echoed Voice here on the swap. The next hit is not going to take it out, right? It's probably just going to live, and they're just going to get the light screen. So like, okay, let's go for a Terra Normal Morsold Echo Voice only on Pivot Eye Shadow. This should give me the extra base power to take out this uh, naughty little light screener and finish it off, right? And then I can try and sweep through the rest of the team there. So normally you'll see if it's a Terra uh, Morsold, it'll be like uh, Population Boom. But uh, this one is a special set. I actually had a fair bit of success with this over the battles. Like people just didn't uh, expect it at all, you know. People were swapping into like, uh, you know, weak to like Water Pulse and stuff like that. It was really quite funny. So Indeed is going to get dropped there, which is really nice. So that's a good KO uh, 
uh, right there. Now, if you look at it, my uh, hound, uh, Houndstone can't do anything. It's frozen solid. I've got my uh, physical uh, iron... Um, not my iron barbs, my my physical iron bundle there. I'm, it's not very uh, Barbie either. It's quite round, not Barbie. And um, I'm a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world. So I'm going to get hit by the poison jab there. It's going to break my sub uh, from the Grafire fight. But I've still got that really powered up Echo voice there. We should easily be able to take this out in one shot. This is no joke right now. This is hitting really, really hard. So that's the end of the Grafire fight, which is good. And I've only got uh, three more Pokemon to deal with here. So out comes the uh, Power. Elephant. I was like, okay, this definitely has uh, Aqua Jet Punch, and they got paralyzed there. Now, I have to say right there, that would have fainted me, but but I still had I still had my Palafin and my Iron Bundle in the back, which have easily have been able to live that attack and take this Pokemon out. So that didn't make any real difference there. Maybe to take my Morse out, surely, but not the other Pokemon remaining. So all that's left now is going to be the Iron Heads we've seen from earlier on, the uh, Belly Drum one that was pretty scary, and the Scream Tail, which did the Baton Passing earlier on, like Bulk Up. So going for another Echo Voice there. That is the end of, uh, I think it's Big Gun. It, it, is, it, it does have Big Guns, you know, on the, look at those, those muscles, you know. Next Pokemon, I thought that said Colgate. I was like, you know what, I want to show the rest of my set. So wait for a distance back mud shot. And that is the end of the very first battle. Uh, thank you for the battle to my opponent there. I hope you enjoyed some of my troll sets. That's some quite interesting strategy there with the baton pass in the team. So I thought I'd show that one. All right, people, let's get on to battle number two here. Uh, this was a battle against um, the Crydon motorbike dude. Anyway, I'm not sure what their name says, but uh, you know, if anyone can translate, that's always appreciated in the comment section of the video. So Azumarill is going to be the first Pokemon here. I've got, I'm a little bit scared here because this is your typical Palafin set. It's a special one. So on that set, we've got uh, Boom Burst. We've got Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Terror Blast, uh, Max Special Attack, and Max Speed, Tim and Nature. Now, it's not like I had Flip Turn, so I had to do a, a raw swap into my Flutter Mane here. Now, I thought this may go for a Belly Drum, but just straight up went for the Play Rough and Body Flutter Mane in one shot there. So... That was a little bit tough to swap into. I probably could have swapped into my uh, Houndstone there, but once again, I didn't really want to get set up on. So going to Palafin Hero, it's all good. Uh, uh, we, we, we need a hero here, people, to take this out. Go for the Boom Burst. Excellent damage. Does over half health. Got my special attack boost here. Now, the Azumarill is going to be going for the Play Rough again. They didn't even try and set up Belly Drum. That did a lot of damage, so... Maybe they're running like a choice band set. Regardless, that's going to be the end of the Azumarill. It's always good to get rid of Azumarill. It's quite a, uh, you know, a threatening Pokemon. Next Pokemon to come in here is going to be Tyranitar, right? Now, it's got the uh, booster energy with the Quark Drive. This is another good Pokemon too, but it, it didn't quite make my uh, top six there. And I've got Hydro Pumps. Like, you know what? This is going to hit pretty hard at plus one special attack. So Hydro Pump actually looks really cool. And it's going to get wrecked in one shot. So the special Palafin is popping off. Now, I have to say this about Palafin too. It's special attack stat. It's not even bad at all. Like, it's actually really, really good. It's still at 100. So it's not even that bad at all. So it's such a great Pokemon. So in comes the old, uh, the old uh, Karida, sorry, Maridon here. And this Pokemon, I get him every time. Every single time I get him with this. So I've got Terra Ground, Terra Blast. Every single time people take the bait, you know. It, it, the good thing about a mono water type Pokemon, you know it's super effective move is coming. And you can hit them back really hard. Now, for this set, I'm not running a, a physical one. So, I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is actually going to faint it, you know. It is a, it is more of a meme set. I do have plus one in special attacks. So I was like, let's see how much it does. I think it's going to either one-shot it or get really, really close. So, I go for that Terra Blast on the Maridon and it just lives. I was like, dang, that really sucks. So, I'm going to have to swap Palafin uh, out now and now. The, uh, you know, the, uh, unfortunately, the coast is not clear to keep it in. We're going to slide into Orthworm because I know they're going to go for a Dragon-type move. I'm hoping maybe for Drake or Meteor, but they've gone for Dragon Pulse instead. So that's uh, that's a difficult swap in. So I'm just going to have to let Orthworm faint there because none of my Pokemon are going to enjoy swapping into Electro Drift. I mean, I could have gone back in the Palafin, but then, you know, what was I going to do? It's not like I had Jet Punch, you know? So we're now going to go into Iron Bundle here. Now, Iron Bundle is so fast. And uh, really, really great Pokemon. Plus, the uh, Electric Train was on the field. I was like, thanks for the free speed boost, you know. So I swapped it in with the big green. And I can go for Ice Spinner, U-Turn, or a Disrespect Flip Turn. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for U-Turn. So we're going to go for U-Turn there and got some quality damage on the Maridon. And that is going to be fainting. So that's really, really good. 
got rid of a very powerful Pokemon there. I like Iron Bundle's design too. It's really cool. I like how they kept, they, they intact the sack, you know? You're probably never going to hear anyone say that again. Next Pokemon to come out here is going to be um the Gallade here. So this is going to be a very, very powerful Pokemon. Iron Balin is going to get a boost in its defense from its Electric Seed, and it's going to get a, a boost from Quark Drive, boosting its speed. So I actually did the same strategy myself uh, with another Pokemon. So they're going to go for the Spirit Break there on my Morsold. I actually lived that fit a little bit better than what I thought. Unfortunately, um, that sort of backfired because I dropped my special attack. I'm like, oh, it's like the, the only time you wouldn't want to be using a special boss. So actually, you probably never want to be using one. It's terrible. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get some pretty good damage there. And the important thing was, too, I actually dropped the Iron Valley in speed. So swapping out more salt, I might be able to make use of it later and going into Hound Zone. It's like, I should be able to live this pretty well, you know? So here comes the Spirit Break. That's going to do nothing. This fluffy set is out of control. I've been using it so much lately. It's, it's very, very good offensive. So now I've got Last Respect of Zero IVs in attack. Shadow Ball, Hyper Beam, and Destiny Bond. So here we go, people. Here comes the Moon Blast. That does a lot of damage there. Here comes Last Respect, Zero IVs in attack. That's pretty good, you know. That's pretty nice. Here comes the Moon again. I lived. And uh, we're going to send uh, Iron Valiant straight to the moon with another zero IV last respect. you got to love it, people. So that's the end of the, the Iron Valiant. I would love to tell them, like, I just wish, you know, I wish I was able to tell that person that was zero IVs in attack. Like, just to see their reaction would have been amazing. Anyway, so out comes the Berserker. It's time to play the fiddle. We're going to go for the Destiny Bond here. And they're obviously going to go for their attacking move, which is Iron Head. And uh, the Houndstone is going to take both the Pokemon out in the ones, which worked out brilliantly. I love this fluffy hound side. It's so good. Like, everyone just expects, like, the last uh, last respect set, and you get them every time. So that's the end of Berserker. There's only one more Pokemon left, and I still have uh, three left. So we're going to go into Morsold here. Now, the last Pokemon to come out against my little Morsold is going to be Sylveon. So Sylveon is going to be able to leave every one of my attacks. So I went for Water Pulse to try and go for a Troll Confusion. It didn't happen, which, you know, was to be expected. And uh, Morsold is going to be fainted there. My family is 69 Morsold. So I've got two more Pokemon left. I've got Palafin and I've got my Iron Bundle. Now, Iron Bundle will be doing the most damage, where Palafin will probably just doing a little bit of damage. It's like, you know what I'm going to do? The best play here... Because I'm going to get wrecked if I get hit by any move from this Pokemon. I'll go for Flip Turn here. Get some good Choice Band damage off. Swap back into the Palafin. Palafin is going to have to take a powerful move there. It doesn't have a lot of health back. So I can easy swap Iron Bundle in afterwards here. So uh, good job there, Palafin. I mean, if I didn't have Palafin, that Maridon would have probably wrecked the rest of my team. So that made like a, a, you know, a key play in there uh, to get rid of that. So that's the end of Palafin. Quality performance. We're going to finish this battle off by going into the Iron Bundle with the Choice Band. Sylveon's defense is definitely not as good as the Special Band. Then the opponent finally pulls the Terra right at the last few, like the last turn of the battle, right? And it's going to be Terra Dragon, Sylveon. I was like, what the heck? That actually wasn't a bad play there because they probably expected me to go for a, uh, you know, a water type move, flip turn. But I went for Ice Spinner instead. <laughs> it was super effective. So that's the end of the Sylveon there. And that was a very interesting Terra. Like, what do I like that would actually even give you in terms of, like, coverage? Anyway, thank you for the battle. Um, uh, whoever that was there, if you ever see this video, just make sure you leave a comment. Let's get on to the third and final battle. This is a battle against... Uh, Ra Raza Z, I think I said, I think I said that right. So the first Pokemon here is going to be uh, Tigaton. It's going to be floating on like nothingness, and we got Palafin as a lead here. I guess that's the only thing about this Palafin set. It's difficult to run the special one because you don't really have flip turns. So you can't do like any damage at all. So what I'm going to do is go to Orthormia, and this thing is should be able to get countered. So it's going to go for the Thunder Wave. I thought it might go for a tacky move, but uh, Orthorm is now paralyzed, which is a little bit of a pain here, but that's okay. Uh, now the uh, Tinkaton is going to be uh, swapping out there, and the next Pokemon I come at it is going to be Charizard, the unrivaled Charizard, all right? Now, I got paralyzed here. I want to show you something pretty cool. So, I was like, I wonder if I can beat this Charizard like, in a 1v1 situation. Like, most of the time, like, Orthorb is never beating Charizard, right? So, I was like, let's go for the uh, Terra Electric. Now, this is going to render my uh, my Orthorb completely invincible to any super effective move. Because if you use a Ground-type move on this Pokemon, it's going to heal it, right? So, it's Galaxy Brain stuff there. As you can see, I got the Light Bulb on Orthorb. Very Galaxy Brain stuff. Now, I'm actually going to do a sweep with this set. I just have to come up with something that's going to be decent because 
because it, it, it's not really a Pokemon that does lots of damage outside of like body press or something like that. So I have to come up with something really cool. I think I might come up with some like bulky kind of set. Anyway, so this Charizard is uh, unfortunately trapped in here by Protect and my Rap combination. Now, the best the Charizard can really do here to me would be like flamethrower or like maybe getting me like critting me like this is max special defense so it is going to be able to take those attacks like really well that's the thing about electric typing too it's only weak to ground and when you've got a, it's, its ability there um, it, it's it's quite a, a low-key cool strategy like earth eat is really really nice i have to say i really like it it's good for swapping into ground weaknesses and you can heal or to him again and then you can go get yourself a uh, another sh uh, shed tail right that's that's why i believe this pokemon is really underrated it's sort of like how you use it though it's on on paper its stats and stuff aren't the greatest i'm not, I'm not saying they're the greatest stats in the world like it's got 145 base defense which is very nice a uh, respectable health stat of 70. That's about it, though. It, its ability and the moves that it gets with helping other Pokemon set up, I, I, I feel makes it really, really strong and a lot of potential behind it. But like I said, there's a lot of other Pokemon that could be on this team, and I, I'd love to hear people see back what uh, they feel like is their uh, most powerful Pokemon or powerful six Pokemon or whatever. So Charizard's going to go for a Dragon Pulse here. I think they're pretty fed up with me trapping them in with Rap. And uh, I love how they kept that little purple squiggly line as Rap, too. It sort of looks like a little Ekans, uh are going around here. So I'm going to wake up there from the arrest. It was a good thing I had rest because, uh, you know, I got rid of that paralysis. Now, the only bad thing about this is with Grip Claw, I don't have Chesto Bray. And that was sort of like, you had to really make sure when you go rest against the opponent that uh, you knew you could live those turns. Now, watch this right. Charizard's going to go for a focus miss. It actually landed, and uh, that did a lot of damage. And you wouldn't read about it, right? The last turn of Rap, right? It actually runs out on the Charizard. He lived virtually on one health and it freed from the wrap. I was like, come on. So it took seven turns of the wrap and it lived on a tiny bit of health there. If only I could do a little bit more damage. You know, the other move is Mud Slap, but I couldn't do it to Charizard. So you can see how the set works there. Why you're um, why you've got the opponent trapped in. You've got Mud Slap uh, working out too with the accuracy. So you'll probably miss a couple of times while you're asleep, right? And then you wake up at full health. And you're ready to rock and roll again. So Iron Bottom's going to slide in there and take out the Charizard, and which is excellent. So that's Charizard down, and now it's going to swap back to me. Now I can bring back in my Palafinia because uh, you know that works really well uh, with the uh, you know momentum it gets. Like flip turn, and uh, it's just a great momentum move. So next Pokemon to come out here is going to be the Weevil. Weevil's uh, shiny. You either hate it or you love it. Look at that, the yellow on <laughs> the yellow on pink. So we've got a, uh, a little Terra here. I'm not sure if, it, if it's a Tryhard Terra, a Galaxy Brain Terra, or I'm not sure here. So we got, oh, it's a Psychic Terra. That's pretty cool. So it's a Psychic uh, psychic Terra Weevil here. A Tactical Terra. That's it, a Tactical Terra. Like, there's got to be a Terra for every sort of moment. Don't worry, people. I'll eventually get the right terminology for every little situation, you know, in the, in the Pip Night Battles. So uh, we're going to go for the uh, Boom Burst there. That does a lot of damage. Uh, get my uh, boost and special attack too. Here comes the Terra Blast Psychic. Palafin is very, very bulky. That took a critical hit, like, very, very well too. Uh, now Weevil is going to be uh, swapping out there. And we've got, what is this, Toothless? Oh, it, it's, there we go. It's Coridon. So Coridon here is going to be quite a threatening Pokemon. Now, I just went for Boom Burst again. And Boom Burst does great damage there. That does well over half health. So this is actually a two-hit KO. I have to say, I love how Palafin sort of uh, you know, sort of punches the air when it doesn't attack. It's, it's, it's really quite cool. I don't know what's going through their head when they uh, made this design. Like, let's make the hero Pokemon a dolphin. You know, you know, your Captain Planet, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Did anyone watch Captain Planet when they were a kid? I did. It was it was amazing. Like, you know, I've, I've, I've seen a piece of rubbish on the ground. I picked it up. I put it in the bin. I was saving the environment. That, that's what uh, Captain Planet taught me, right? It was some really life-changing stuff. So anyway, we're going to go to more sold here. Uh, we got the uh, Play Rough coming from the Tinkerton there. Tinkerton's attack is so bad. Like, it really, truly is bad. Now I'm going to get a speed drop there, which you know, really didn't matter too much. And here comes the Gigaton Hammer, and Morsold is going to get splattered there. So that's not much, much, much I could have done there. It's a very powerful attack. But uh, yeah, um, that play rough was absolutely horrendous. So now we're going to go to the Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle should be able to finish this off. I've got a reasonably powerful move here. Now the Tinkerton is going to be going for Protect there. So I'm guessing maybe they've suspected that I'm choice. I just went for Flip Turn there anyway. That's my... um. 
you know, most powerful water type move on a physical set if you go check its physical set out. So go for Flip Dirt, and that's the end of Tigaton, which is uh, pretty cool. You know, on Tigaton's like hammer, it should have like a corv or like a Corviknight's wings and feathers on there, you know? From whacking all the Corviknight in the sky. Let's find that hilarious. Next Pokemon's gonna be Flutter Mania. It's, it's troll time, people. I've got the uh, item there, the uh, booster energy. We're gonna boost up that speed. And now we got the King Carp. I was like, oh no, they're gonna try and late game sweep me with Gyarados and Dragon Dance. Something like that. So first things first here. The first thing on the menu is to go for the uh, Thunder Wave. Imagine eating Gyarados though. That'd be like, uh, I don't know whether it'd be like bones and you know, like meat. It'd probably be like super disgusting. Anyway, so Gyarados is going to have uh, that Dragon Dance plus one in attack and speed. But the good thing is I've got that uh, Thunder Wave up. So going for Confusion right now. I've got the Power of Fusion going to be... I'm going to... Hopefully Gyarados maybe will hit itself for Confusion. And then I'm just going to start spamming Astonish. Now Astonish is a completely horrible move, but it does have a 30% chance of actually doing a flinch, which is pretty funny. So Gyarados hits itself for confusion there, doing lots of damage to itself, and I went for the flinch, and I got the flinch, I was like, yes, let's keep doing this. So I kept turning around, doing a disrespect flinch there, over and over again, it was doing like two damage, but I kept getting the flinches, it was pretty funny. So go for the hat trick there on the old Gyarados, and Gyarados is uh, not going to get flinched this time, and it's going to be confused still, however, it's going to get through that confusion and fire off an Earthquake at me and flutter main as well it's not going to be fluttering anymore so i've got a couple more pokemon left here i've got to finish off the king carp so we're going to slide right into palafin now palafin can go for its boom burst here that's that actually that's the best move we can go for there none of the moves have like they sort of all lack the base power um to take out the gyarados here i definitely don't want to get hit by any move that uh physical gyarados has uh, so go for that boom burst there. Oh, now I don't have throat spray, but it still fails to take it out. Gyarados snaps out of confusion and slides an earthquake off. And that is going to be the end of Palafin as well. Man, I'm very, very glad that I got that Thunder Wave on the Gyarados early, you know. So we're going to go into Iron Bundle here. It's only got a little bit of health left. Gyarados has swapped out on one health virtually. And in comes... The Gold Dingo. So I went for a disrespect U-turn there, but it never happened. And uh, Iron Bundle is going to come back to me. So this Pokemon is scary. I'm like, this has got a lot of speed and a lot of special attack. Now, Gold Dingo may make people's top six Pokemon as, as well. So I got a Quick Claw. You wouldn't read about it. And what I did right is I went for a Quick Claw last respect. So zero IVs and attack and uh, modest nature and he <laughs> took it out still so that's the end of gold dango that that that's that's what you call disrespect so last pokemon's gonna be king carp and uh yeah wait no there's another pokemon there's a weavile so i went for a hyper beam here hyper beam uh hound uh, houndstone only on pirate channel and that is gonna be enough to take out the king of carps i must say i, I love the shiny garros oh it was a great shiny last pokemon now is the weavile i gotta be honest with you i actually thought that was their last pokemon in the battle that's why I went for the Hyper Beam, but that, you know, that's another story. So uh, Weavile's going to go for a Night Slash here. Uh, I've got to recharge this turn, obviously. And now the Weavile is going to go for a Terra Blast here on my Hound Zone. So Terra Blast is going to hit me really hard there, but it doesn't take me out. And I went for a Hyper Beam this turn to finish off the Weavile, and Weavile just lived. I'm like, even with modest nature, it did. He didn't take it out. So for some, I don't know what was going on with Weavile there. It was just like staring, like contemplating his life or something. Anyway, the Houndstone is going to fake there to a critical hit. And my last Pokemon is going to be the Iron Bundle. I can virtually use any move here to take out this Weavile. I've got like any move, like U-turn, flip turn, whatever. So went for the U-turn. And that, my friends, is the end of the third battle of the best Pokemon team for Generation 9. Really hope you enjoyed all three of these battles. Let me know if what your Pokemon is in the comment section. And I'll catch you tomorrow, I think. Peace out.